Today we'll be looking at Absetzen, contrasting Maya's longsword and sidesword versions of the same technique. As part of this process, we'll explore my own approach to Maya, progressing Maya's large circular actions to much tighter, more refined linear actions for a thrust-oriented fencing system. First though, what on earth was that technique we were seeing in the intro? Well, if I were to say it were Absetzen, you might say... Wrong, sir! Wrong! You lose! Good day, sir! And frankly, I'd tend to agree with you. After all, this is a description of Absetzen that we're much more familiar with. In this, let's call it classical Absetzen, we begin in Flug on the right, and our opponent cuts in towards us from above. We wind in with our guard, displacing his blade with an oppositional thrust, ending threatening his face or chest. The main variation of this technique is to use the long instead of the short edge in this displacement, but both are more or less the same. So, now let's look at Meyer's version of Absetzen and see what's different about it. Immediately, we can see it's similar, but not quite the same. Maya begins in Vexel, which is characteristic of his style. The opponent cuts in, and we go up against it with the long edge from below, stepping forward and slightly to the side. In this movement, we flick with the short edge around to the head, completing the step. And this is his Absetzen. To which there'll be a few Maya practitioners thinking, Wrong. And again, I don't entirely disagree with you. There are other ways you could perform this technique, and we'll look at one of those later. For now though, let's just work with our original version. We start down in Vexel. The opponent's blade comes in at a steep diagonal angle. Opening the hip, we set aside their blade with the long edge, continuing this stepping motion with a flick of the blade, cutting to their ear, landing with the short edge instead of the point as we would in the classical Absetzen. The opening parry on this technique can be done in a couple of ways. In the first style, we come up with the long edge in something akin to an Unterhau action as we set aside the blade. Then we flick around to the side and cut. The second version is somewhat similar to a cron, in that we come up with a horizontal cross guard, taking out with the long edge again, landing with that short edge cut. So which of these is the better way? In answer to that, I would say... It matters not. Both versions are fine. The main thing to remember is maintain the structure throughout the movement and make it continuous and constantly threatening the opponent. While Maya does discuss this parrying and immediately threatening with a cut in his book, we might be tempted to think that he's entirely misunderstood what Absetzen really is. Luckily for us, he also describes Absetzen in other sections of his book, most notably the side sword. Now many people would agree that Maya's book is not meant to be read in a completely linear fashion and jumps backwards and forwards, and a lot of techniques from other sections can be reapplied to earlier sections, so let's try this technique with the longsword. We start in the low guard, which with the longsword is basically going to be flug. As the opponent cuts in, we open the hip, turning the long edge against it, beginning a step forward and to the side, continuing our opposition with the long edge, until we end in an extended position with the point in the opponent's face, which with a longsword looks like this, but would be a little more extended with the side sword. Once again, long edge opposition into a thrust. And now let's see that from the front, arms coming straight up and across, thrusting in opposition. By now you've probably realised that this version of Absetzen is fundamentally identical to one of the variations we saw from the classical style earlier. Whoa. My thoughts exactly, Neo. And this brings us to one of the other interpretations of Maya's longsword of Zetzen. In this version, after the displacement, we come straight back down with a plunge, instead of flicking around with more of a tsver action. In sections of his book where Maya refers to flicking, he often describes it as this slightly circular action, but I don't think there's anything wrong with either interpretation, and both are entirely correct. Now we have two extremes, one quite circular Absetzen, one very linear, and we can use this to explore the concept that we spoke about earlier of ever smaller actions until we reach a thrust-oriented system. So as a reminder, this is our classical baseline using that winding of the short edge into the thrust. And now our first attempt at Maya's version starting from Vexel using a large circular action. This is quite a big loop, so let's start with a slightly higher guard and diminish it. And now more of a flug, a very tight circle. And now beginning to eliminate the circularity, turning into more of a steep curving action. And finally, smoothing out the curves entirely into more of that side sword or classical longsword thrust. If we overlay all of these trajectories, we can really see this movement from big circle to more of a linear action. And this highlights one of my approaches to Maya. The large movements are easy to learn and highly effective in a lot of situations. But then as you progress, you can refine these actions into a much more delicate linear game. Approaching Maya this way meshes well with the syllabus he lays out in his texts, 
and it's also really effective in modern competition settings. So hopefully this has given you a good analysis of Absetzen in Maya. And there you have it. Thanks for watching.